I'm Colm Kelleher, and I'm a biophysicist at Harvard University. What do you think of when you hear the word ecosystem? Do you think about a tropical rainforest or a coral reef? Those are some well-known examples, but there are also ecosystems all around us in our everyday lives. In your house, in the puddles left behind after a rainstorm, and even inside your own body. These mini ecosystems are made up of many different kinds of microorganisms, living things too small to be seen without a microscope. Rainforests and coral reefs can take thousands or even millions of years to develop, but in this challenge, we'll make a brand new ecosystem with stuff you can find in your kitchen, and it will take just a few days. We're gonna set up the conditions that microorganisms need to grow by giving them food. Then we'll come back every day for a week to feed our ecosystem again and check on its progress. You need some dish soap, you need a container of some kind. I've got this old jar, but any kind of clear container with a lid will do. A knife, a measuring spoon of some kind. I've got a tablespoon measuring spoon, but any measuring spoon will do really. Um, you need a ruler to characterize your ecosystem and its growth. And finally, you need some food. You can use lots of different kinds of things for food. I'm gonna use some all-purpose flour. Okay, let's get started. First, use the dish soap to scrub your hands, then the container, lid, spoon, and knife. When you're done washing, thoroughly rinse off all the soap. Lay all the tools down on a clean surface. Shake off excess water, but don't worry about drying everything. Next, put four spoonfuls of flour in the container and two spoonfuls of water. I'm using a tablespoon measure, but you can use any other measuring spoon too. Then, mix the flour and water together into a thick paste. Take a sniff. Does it remind you of anything? Put the lid onto the container, but don't seal it tightly. Air should be able to get in. This is our ecosystem. Place it in a warm, safe place. I keep mine on top of the refrigerator because it's a little hotter than the rest of my apartment. This will help our microorganisms to grow quickly. You might have noticed that we didn't put any microorganisms into the ecosystem. So where will they come from? Well, they're already there, in the flour, in the water, and in the air. They're just dormant, which means asleep. When we put them in a warm, wet environment with lots of food, they'll wake up and start to grow. All right, it's been 24 hours, almost time to check up on our ecosystem. But before we do that, we'll need to get our tools ready. First, we need to make a data sheet to record our observations. We'll include the day, the height of the mixture, how it smells and how many bubbles it has. All these will change as the ecosystem develops. When your data sheet is ready, wash the same tools as yesterday and place them on a clean surface. Okay, let's take a look. First, place your ecosystem on a countertop and measure its height. It's easiest to do this by putting the edge of the ruler on the flat countertop. Then, look at the top and sides of the ecosystem to check for bubbles. Note if there are a lot or just a few, and if they're big, tiny, or a mixture of both. As the microorganisms grow and multiply, they release gases that make bubbles. These bubbles cause the whole mixture to expand, like when you blow a balloon. Next, take off the lid and smell. You might detect bread, oatmeal, rotten fruit, sour milk, wine, beer, vinegar, armpits, shampoo, nail polish remover, or even kitchen cleaner. If the smell reminds you of something, write it down. Finally, we need to replenish the food supply. Replenishing the food is what makes this experiment different from letting it go bad. Use the knife to scrape most of the mixture into the trash or compost if you have it. Leave a small amount behind. Even a teaspoon contains enough microorganisms to reseed the ecosystem. Next, add two spoons of water and use the knife to mix everything together. It might take a minute or two to do this, but try to make sure everything is mixed together well. When that's done, add four spoons of flour and mix again. When it's become a smooth paste, replace the lid without sealing it and put the ecosystem back in its safe place. Repeat this process once every day. Measure the properties of your ecosystem and replenish its food source. As the days go by, you should see and smell some pretty big changes. These changes reflect shifts in the kinds of microorganisms making up your ecosystem. And as always, make sure to send us your photos and videos.